In a world that's ever more dependent on smartphones, there's nothing worse than your device running out of juice. It seems to happen with alarming regularity even though your phone basically lives on charge. Why is that? Seth may have the answer. Something you hear a lot of these days at dinner parties, around the pool, or on the way back from the water cooler are sentences like, Oh my goodness, my phone's battery isn't lasting as long as it used to, or I charged it all night and it's already dead. Here's a question, what are you charging your phone with? If you're having issues with your battery, ask yourself, are you using the charger that came in the box? Because if you aren't, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself and your phone. Since most phones these days have the same micro USB connector, we find any charger that fits and assume it's okay. But just because the shoe fits, doesn't mean you should wear it, Cinderella. While most manufacturers have adopted the micro USB charger design to prevent you from throwing your old charger away, the circuit paths inside these chargers differ between manufacturers. First, a brief introduction to the four stages of charging a phone. Stage one, as you connect your phone, the battery's voltage quickly increases. Stage two, the voltage peaks and current from the charger begins to decrease. Stage three, the battery is fully charged and the charger cuts the current off from the cell phone completely. Stage four, standby mode, where only a top-up charge is supplied when the battery drops below a specified voltage. Your charger understands these stages because it has the right input voltage, output voltage and output amperage settings to suit your phone and has a regulator that prevents charge to the phone when the battery is full. Okay, but that stuff only applies to wall chargers, right? I mean, I'm totally fine with plugging my phone into my laptop to charge it, obviously. What you need to know is there are currently three USB specifications in the wild. USB 1, USB 2, and USB 3. And each one carries its own power specification, which sometimes isn't enough for your power-hungry phone. And don't even get me started on the classic traffic light charger. You know the one I'm talking about. You bought it for 60 bucks on your way to the rugby in 2011 and you force your phones to be friends with it every time you need a quick charge. So you know, that charger, it probably sucks. When you buy cheap chargers, it is not enough to look at the connector at the end. Most cheap chargers don't carry the worldwide CE, RHOS or MFI certifications that ensure the products are made lead free. And they probably won't have a regulator to stop them from overcharging your phone and damaging your battery. Portable chargers and especially portable solar chargers are a whole other kettle of crazy dangerous. The rule of thumb is, if it wasn't expensive, it's going to ruin your phone. Now don't let me catch you being naughty with your toys again. And remember folks, take care of yourselves and each other and your phones.